hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is lenny in today's tutorial i'm going to show you exactly how you can automate the growth of your youtube channel in n8n and i'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step procedure on how i was able to grow my channel from 300 to over 1000 subscribers in just a month i'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process and i'm gonna make sure that you don't have to write a single line of code and if you even have to write a single line of code i'm gonna be dropping the template for this exact AI agent in the comment section so that you can download it as well before i get into the tutorial i just want to backtrack a bit to march 2025 so if you've been with me on this journey for a while you know that in march 2025 i had had my channel for about a year and i was barely at about 350 subscribers in just about a month i noticed a few things i noticed that my channel was able to go from just 350 subscribers to over a thousand subscribers and i realized that it wasn't magic or anything it was just because i had shared my channel or i shared my videos outside youtube and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you should share your videos to family and friends those ones i don't think would work unless of course they are really interested in your content but one thing that really helped me a lot was sharing my videos into focused groups and one of those groups were like on reddit where i sort of like shared my videos on there and i realized that people came in a lot from reddit to watch my videos and most likely the people who came to watch my videos were probably watching other similar videos on youtube anyways and so it really helped in terms of like the algorithm as you know youtube is always interested in finding the right audience for your channel so whether you are a small youtube creator or you are someone who creates content outside of youtube or any other social media platform i know that this tutorial is focused on just like youtube channels but then you can also leverage this exact workflow for other social media platforms as well let me know in the comment section if you'd want me to do another workflow for let's say x linkedin facebook let me know in the comment section below and i'll gladly do that as well but yeah so i sort of discovered that instead of just like hosting it on youtube and forgetting about it it makes sense to share my my videos and to target her groups on reddit because people in those groups would actually um, watch the videos because they are most likely interested in the topic i'm talking about okay so now that i have given you like a background story let's jump right into the tutorial so first things first like i always do i'm gonna walk you through the entire workflow first and once i've walk you through the entire workflow i'm gonna show you exactly how i built it so let's get started so i'm just using like a manual through there here and i'm just saying that this workflow would work when i could on the test workflow i mean if you want this to work you can have like a schedule trigger so that this one would always like work um, mainly at a specific time and then in here you can see like i'm getting my youtube channel and in order to get a youtube channel you need to have like your channel ib and then you need to get like i have in here that this uh workflow should always like get the latest video okay so you can like back to the trigger here if you know that i only post them on thursdays or on sundays or on tuesdays then you could run this in such a way that it would only run on thursdays or at the time you post so that it will get like the latest video you've posted on only does is it can make some captions for you and then converts the captions into text and then for some reddit channels that i'm on some of these channels would ask that you sort of like provide an overview of what a video is about so this is why you need like an ai agent in here to basically like listen to what's in your slt file all you would do is just create a summary um, based on what's in the video and then this node i have in here is really to like format whatever something i get from its output here and then in here is where you are posting it on the various subreddits so for instance I have a subreddit for N8N because I create tutorials on N8N. I have a subreddit for like AI tools, generative AI. So what I would recommend is I go through Reddit, make a list of all the subreddits that are related to your niche, and then you could always set them up so that based on certain parameters will be posted onto those groups for you. And like I said, this can be applicable to other patterns as well. Well, you want to share your post on LinkedIn, you want to share your post on Facebook, you want to share your post on Twitter, you could basically do that as well. Well, I just want us to focus on Reddit because that is where I have found success. And on this channel, I try not to gatekeep anything. Okay, so now I've explained the workflow. I'm gonna show you exactly how I built it. And like I said, I am trying so hard that you don't have to light a single line of code. But if you have to light a single line of code, I am gonna drop the template to the comment section so that you can go download it. Okay, so I've talked a lot now. Let's get started. First things first, you need to have a new workflow dashboard in here. And then the first step, like I mentioned 
and reassets in a trigger. And in terms of the trigger, like I said, I'm just using a manual trigger just for the purposes of this tutorial. But you do need to do a manual trigger. Depending on the time you post, you can always have like a scheduled trigger instead of a manual trigger. And then I'm just gonna be getting my channel here. And you know that today the channel, like I mentioned, you need to have your channel ID. You find your channel ID in YouTube. And then once you have your channel, the next step for you is to get your latest video. Okay. So what you can just do is you can just come in here, search for YouTube node as well. And then you just say get video. You know, let's get your latest video. All you just have to do is uh, you just want to do get many and then you limit it to one. And then in here, you can just basically order it by the date. And once you order by the date, it means that it's always going to give you like the latest video. And you just want one, right? That's fine. I should execute this right now. You see that the latest video is about be creating an AI avatar for my YouTube channel. So that's fine. Now moving on to the next step. So now that we have our YouTube video ready, the next step is I'm just gonna, I just need like a few fields and this gives me like a lot of fields. So I'm just gonna like scale that down by using the edit fields node. And then I'm just gonna create like just manual field. So one field I want is a description field because sometimes you may have to enter the description. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag the description field in here. And then the mix field I want is the title field i'm gonna click right title and i'm gonna drive the title in here and then the last food i want is the link and the link is really a combination of like a string and a title and a string and the video id so i'm just gonna say link and if you look at any video on youtube right if you go onto youtube and let's say you select a video you see that the video starts with like youtube and it has like watch and then it has this video id right the video id was provided to us but this part of the string i just have to manually set so i'm just gonna come in here and my Mali said the string and then I'm gonna drag the video ID in here because we did the video ID as well so this is working good if I should as a cheater step you'd see that I have everything ready for me and if I should click on this link and then I should paste it in my browser you see that it would take me to my own video so now that we have our video ready the next step for us is to get the captions and to get the captions I'm gonna be using the Google captions API and in order to use a Google captioning of API you need to have like an API key let me know in the comment section below if you want to have like a tutorial tutorial and how you should create your own API keys and stuff like that and I'll be happy to do a tutorial on that. I already do have like my API keys and everything set up so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on here and add like the HTTP node and then I'm gonna use this URL. If you go into like the Google API documentation you'd see this URL in there and I'm gonna put like the various query parameters that I needed which also includes the video ID that was created from the previous node and then as well as the API key. I don't Want to show my API key, so that's fine. So now that we have our captions ready, know that our caption is in our SLT file. We want to see this into an AI LLM or we want to feed this into Google Chat model to sort of like give us like a summary. Chain. And we didn't take an SLT file from this interface, so all we want to do is we're not convert it to a text file. So all we have to go is be convert an SLT to a text file. If I come in here, we're gonna use an extract from text file, then I'm just gonna execute this here. So we're gonna come in here and this caption would give us like an ID for our project uh, which is really this one or we want to do with this is we want to use this ID to locate the caption file okay so we are gonna be using an HTTP node again to do this and this are the parameters we are gonna pass again we will need to have like the ID like I mentioned so we have to get the ID in here and then we need to be um, authenticated so I already have my YouTube authentication credentials set up already in terms of like the text format we know that is an SLT file and then we have like the key API key in here and then we have the header parameter so if I should there's a cute this step right now you see that we have like um, a binary file that has been generated for us I'm just curious to know if I did this as a txt how would this have worked it wouldn't have worked okay okay so as you can see we have a binary file generated for us so this is good now we have a binary file what we want is a text file so I'm gonna be using like the extract functionality and I'm just gonna say a extracts from text file and if I should run this right now you'd see that we have like a text file generated for us so this is good this is what we want and this is what the AI agent here would understand so if I should click the plus button and select AI agent and then in here I'm just gonna define below in terms of the home teaser message I'm just gonna be using the captions here which we call uh, data and then in terms of my system message I'm gonna give it the exact instructions I need in terms of how I expect it to be formatted and everything and really in terms of the instructions you can always get these instructions from chat gpt like you don't need to like write them from scratch you can have like an 
idea of what the instructions should be and then you feed it into ChatGPT. And I want to add from my edit fields, I created a link, right? So all I want to do is I just want to add my link and everything in here, right? Because in my description post on Revit, I want to include like a link as well. And then um, in here as well, I'm just going to be using the data. Okay, so this is the exact instructions I'm giving it to my AI agent. So I'm saying here, yeah, helpful as a standard for my YouTube video submission to clean Reddit friendly step-by-step -step instructional post. And I've given it the exact formatting I want in terms of the rules. I said it should have a title. It should not include the emojis. So you need to be as specific as possible and you need to have this in your own brand voice. So if you don't have your own brand voice defined, I recommend that you define your own brand voice. If I should mind this by now, it's going to fail because we don't have a chat model associated with this. For the chat model, I'm going to be using Google Gemini chat model. And again, I'm going to be using 2.5 um, because that's like one of the latest versions. So I'm just going to scroll down to the one that was probably released on April 17th. And then I could also add like a memory node in here um, just so they can like store something for us. If I come in here, I see that is an ID. So I'm going to use that as the memory node. And if I should run this now, it should then fail. Okay, so we have an output generator for us. So this is looking good. And at this point, you could decide that you just want to post it early to Twitter. I'm going to add a code node in here. And the code node is just going to help me with like formatting the data I got from the AI agent. Okay, if you should copy paste the data into a document file, you'd realize that it has a lot of like backslash and stuff like that. So what this code here is doing is like just sort of like formatting the text the way I want it to be formatted. It's if I should line this now, most likely it's going to show you how the output of the file would look like. So as you can see, I line this now and it's being formatted for us. So that's really good. At this point, I would say that maybe you may, if you want to do the human in the loop, just so you know, a lovely word is going to be posted on Reddit so that you need to sort of provide approval before it's posted on Reddit. If you don't want to include the human in the loop as well, like I just did, that's fine. And then I'm going to use the switch, okay? So this is where I'm going to create the rule. So I'm going to say that is this title contains, let's say, m 8 n do something. And then I'm going to rename the output as n 8 n so that I know that whatever is coming through that is an n 8 n something that has to go into an n 8 n subreddit. Either say the title is an AI avatar, also teach it into like an AI avatar subreddit. And then likewise, if this title here continues, let's say, AI tools or something, because I sort of like title my YouTube videos specific ways. So this is, let's say, AI tools also take it into like a subreddit that has like AI tools. So right now, this should also contain, it should not be equal to, so that when I run this article node, you'd see that would have, uh, we should have at least one output. Um, and let's say title contains AI token avatar. So you see, it's in this particular node assuring us that the title contains the AI token avatar. I could even just say avatar and that should be fine. So our output is working fine. And at this point, this is where you add the real subreddits. Again, you need to have right API uh, keys configured for your Reddit account. So if you don't have it, I encourage you to have it. Um, I know there's a subreddit for m 8 m And then in here, I'm just going to drive the title and I'm going to say it's a text post. It could also be a link post or an image post. I'm just going to say it's a text post because I have the link in the output as well. So if I should come into our AI agent here or in a formatted text, it either would have a link as well in the outputs. And then I'm gonna do the same here. Gonna select Reddit. And then I know that we have a subreddit for generative AI. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then I'm gonna have another subreddit. Then I'm also gonna include the title like I did in the beginning for the other one. So uh, let's see, we have our title. I'm just gonna do the same thing really because there's no use case or scenario flowing through this. I can't see a title in there. But all I'll do is I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna paste this here. And then I'm gonna do the same for the text as well. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna copy the formatted text as well and, and then do same for the other one as well and i know there's also a subreddit called um, artificial so this helps if you already have like a list or you have an idea of a subreddit you want to be posting to okay so this is artificial and i'm doing the same thing
All right, so this is how it would look like, and then you can execute the entire workflow, and it would be posted on your Edit account. Um, this was the output of what I did earlier on, and I don't want to spam any groups. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you've tried this, if you share your post, or rather, let me know what your experience has been. But that is it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave your comments in the comment section below, share and subscribe. I also do have like other AI agent tutorials. I'm gonna leave them on the screen. So if this is something you're interested in, then don't forget to like subscribe to my channel for more. This is my Ko-Fi page because I had a lot of like templates in there that I give for free. And then you can follow me on there as well. So you get notified anytime I post new templates on there. But yeah, thank you for watching until the end of this tutorial. And I wish you all the best in your AI automation journey, in your YouTube journey. And uh, yeah, let's go together. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, share comment all the stuff see you in the next one